Here's the headline. Trans group demands that Fox News be removed from Canadian TV. Uh, I mean, I want trans people to be able to live their lives. That's fine. I don't want uh, radical gender theory in schools. I don't want it being pushed on kids. But trans people can do whatever they want. I don't care. But what I don't want is to be told what news I can watch. And I especially don't want to be told that by some self-appointed spokespeople for a group who never voted for them. There's no trans town and the mayor of trans town and the press secretary for the mayor of trans town. That doesn't exist. You just have people claiming to be the representative for the entire group. And now they're telling you that they're going to decide what news you can watch. Let's see, EGAL, I think it's uh, pronounced EGAL. EGAL Canada, an organization for 2SLLGBTQI. Wait a second, where's the plus? Where are the plus people? I mean, this is, this is an unimaginable level of bigotry from EGAL Canada. Anyway, uh, they're apparently an organization for alphabet people, but not pluses, people and issues. And they've released a statement calling on Canada's regulators, the CRTC, to begin public consultations on the removal of Fox News from the list of non-Canadian programming authorized for distribution in Canada. The group is moving to essentially ban Fox News in Canada after host Tucker Carlson featured the group on his program. Yeah, Trudeau would be licking his lips at this because of course he'd like to get rid of the only you know, conservative cable news that exists in Canada. And the rest of it he's not gonna have any problem with because they're all left wing. And as CNN, MSNBC, American News, it's widely available in Canada. People watch it. It's had a very detrimental effect on Canadian politics, by the way. And Canadian corporate media is very much influenced by American media. And it's only natural since they all share the same, you know, left-wing elitist uh, snobbery with each other. So what happened in this Tucker Carlson segment? Uh, apparently, Egal's name and logo were used in connection with an open letter highlighting the increase in so-called anti-2SLGBTQI movements and protests, which Tucker Carlson called a lie. Well, here's the letter that he's referencing. All levels of government in Canada have a responsibility to combat the rise in anti-2LSGBT uh, letters hate. And of course, there's a picture of a drag queen reading to children, which I still don't understand why this is crucial for a child's development. It doesn't make any sense. It's a man dressed as a woman reading to them. You know, in other countries, they think that's weird. But the important part in this letter here is the, uh, the call to enact a buffer zone for anti-alphabet protests that keeps them at least 100 meters away from alphabet community spaces and events. So they're basically wanting to make dissent illegal, protest illegal. That's the demand. So there's actually two demands. So first thing they were demanding was that it be illegal to protest, you know, say uh, child drag shows or sexualized content for children. And then the next demand is that to get rid of Fox News for Canada. Nobody's allowed to watch it because they don't like it. Here, I saw this on their website. I thought this was interesting. This is apparently the 50-30 challenge, your diversity advantage. Ooh, an advantage, that sounds good. Uh, the initiative challenges Canadian organizations to increase the representation and inclusion of diverse groups within their workplaces while highlighting the benefits of giving all Canadians a seat at the table, except certain Canadians, right? We all know which ones. Now let's take a look who they got here for their diversity. There's a Muslim woman, there's another woman, there's a guy in a wheelchair, and there's a guy who's blind. So I guess the message is here that um, if you want to place in their diversity um, and you're a man, you'd better be crippled. Sorry, sorry, differently abled. Differently abled. Here they say that uh, they believe in a world where every person, regardless of sexual orientation and gender identity, can achieve their full potential, free from hatred and bias. Yeah, man, not really every person, is it, though? I don't think it's every person, exactly. Yeah, I'm getting the feeling that uh, there's one demographic that they're probably not so keen on. And maybe it's that same demographic that Tucker Carlson belongs to. Who knows? And there is that little matter of uh, they do want to censor what you can see, which I don't really like that. So I don't know. Maybe people just need to recognize that these groups don't actually represent anybody except the group and the people that are paid to run the group, usually uh, financed with government funds, by the way. Oh, and on that topic of uh, people getting paid, let's see. Government partners. 
Well, lots of government partners. It looks like the taxpayer is paying for them to demand the government censor what you can see. Uh, let's see, corporate partners, Bayer, Fidelity, Desjardins, Labatt, uh, Labatt. Uh, you know, boycott Labatt. Here's the thing with boycotting. You can't boycott everybody because there's just too many now. So just if everybody just picks one and just drives them out of business, the message will get out. Now look at this, Royal Bank of Canada. Ugh. And that's the thing, in Canada, it's just a big circle jerk between these, uh, between the government, between the Trudeau government, and these activist organizations and corporations and banks. And what Canadians have to do is get Trudeau out of power, get in a conservative government, and then put extreme pressure on them to do the things that we want. That's all we can do. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. Sharing really helps me out. I thank you for that. I will see you next time.